Well, I was able to catch him. I caught him. Let me get this camera adjusted right. There it goes. All right. I believe that's the same cardinal. Red. I'm talking about red. And uh, he was right there at the same spot I seen a few days ago. So I had time to pull the camera out and zoom in on him. I don't know how it's going to look, but... All right, let me let me say this about uh, the video I filmed up in the OC. Uh, I didn't purposely aim the camera at nobody. The one guy said that he knew I was filming and it was okay to talk to him and even put him on camera. We didn't exchange names, but I just told him, just go to Google and search 5G Ozark and... Uh, you'll find that video. But what I showed him and talked to him about is something that's very real. I'll just show you and prove to you the school systems don't care about your children. And this is why. If your school children were educated to cut their cell phones off and only have them on when they want to make a call. And even then, set it down on a flat object turn the speaker on and talk through it like that from a couple feet away you got to educate these children you got to educate these school systems about what to teach and how to teach that type of safety this is a safety hazard and it's going to come back to bite us in the ass when this world gets depopulated because the only people that will be able to produce children to be the Amish it'll be other groups that have sustained from using telephones and cell phones and there's very few people like me that's never owned a cell phone but that's proof that your children are not being educated on hazards they call themselves teaching our children but they're not they're actually indoctrinating them and to live into a prison slave mentality worshiping the government believing that the government can solve our problems the government has never solved our problems they don't even have our interest at heart they're psychopaths even in this local government the ones that make it to the top in Springfield Ozark Rogersville they're hand-picked, they're in a clique, they don't have the people's in their minds. They don't, we're not in their heart, we, they don't care. These people, all they care about is greed. All they care about is having more and more money, more and more power. They see themselves making their way up to the state as a senator. And then go to Congress as a congressman. Well, the government has turned into the biggest religion there is. And our indoctrination system starts when we put our children into public schools. I know I did it. And I seen in the Mississippi Delta all these people sending their children to Pillar Academy, a private college at that time was like the this is that back in the 90s and 80s the tuition was five thousand dollars a year back then and what's so funny is they called themselves not being racist or segregated or all they wanted to do was send their children to a better school so they could get educated no they just got richly indoctrinated just like ours in public school y'all were the ones that were fleeced and now you done got old and you ain't got no more money because that costs more than freaking college but Pillar Academy is still propagating probably that same lie to send your children here they get a better education and they don't have to be around the lower class people well guess what I went back to college at Miss Delta, Commu Miss Delta Community College in uh, right outside of Indianola Mississippi and that's when I seen all these pillar kids guys and girls 
But I want to talk about the girls in Pacific. What was so funny, I was 32. My eyes were not awakened to the Christ consciousness of this reality. But I was able to witness this. Either the girls would be scared to death of black people because they'd never been around them, or they started hanging out at the track and field and football and baseball. Next thing you know, they was dating black guys. Because that's the way life is. So all that money you spent to keep them children in a so-called private school backfired. They may have not married into their people that they were dating during college, but I'm just telling you, life is really screwed up and it's not what we think it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to educate yourself. 5G is the next cigarettes. It's the biggest lie. Cigarettes have killed so many people in my family. So many people in your family. And they told everybody that it was safe. And then slowly but surely, they had to start answering questions for lawsuits. And then they started losing lawsuits. Well, it's not too early to start filing lawsuits on cell phone companies because what they're doing is his worse or ultimately with 5G is going to be 10 times worse than cigarettes. I don't know what they're trying to get rid of all these people on earth for except the fact that that's their job and their dark mission and they don't know no damn better. But all you can do is educate yourself and get off of the tit of what cell phones are. Don't make a call unless you gotta call somebody. If you're gonna have that phone on your person, have it off, especially children. Man, these people give children cell phones for birthdays, six, seven year old, and they play with it and set it on their lap. And the little girls set it on their lap and the little boys set it on their lap. <sighs> Can't you see the picture? that I'm painting, these kids won't be able to populate the earth because they're going to be sterile. There's so many chemicals in our food that is helping the sterilization of the human race right now. But I'll tell you what, the Amish don't have autism. They don't have Alzheimer's. They have very little dementia. Their people grow old gracefully, have their minds, and they have children. I'm telling you, some of the Amish families got 15 kids, 12 kids. We haven't seen any of that since the 50s and the 60s. That's how long they've been working on this sterilization of the human race. One day we're going to need some fertile men and some fertile women when this reset happens. It's going to happen with us or without us. There's something coming that's going to change life on earth. Our singularity is going to be the, the crown jewel. If it already hadn't happened, I don't know. I don't, and one time, timeline reality that I'm in, it's already happened. And then another timeline, it ain't happened yet. So, I just know this. We are divine. We are the light of the world. We speak truth, and truth will come forth. We don't need no Savior to come and help us because that's a lie. It ain't gonna happen. There'll be a false this and a false that. There'll be a, a shadow and a type of a Savior that's actually not even got our best interest. When you see that represent government, run from it, because that ain't what it is. All right. I'm fixing to get to the mark of the beast, so I better shut up. <laughs> I lose it. I'll lose a bunch of people right about here. I'm going to just tell you like this. We got to wake up. 
and start coming together and talking about these things. Help one another. Educate one another. When you meet somebody, don't just say, hey, talk to them. All right, I got to go.